I scrolled down the Insta page, saw a picture that I didn't want to see He had his hand around your waist and a smile on your face like the way you look at me Cause only eight months ago he was holding your hand Slow dancing and kissing the top of your head And I don't know how to compete with that Cause you were friends since you were kids and it still feels like we just only met Yeah, I was so naive Thinking that you've only felt this way for me You always tell me I'm the only one you wanna be with So why can't I believe it? Yeah, old boyfriends kinda scare me Cause they all We're finally here in Montreal um, Right now I need to find a way out of here So that I can go on Uber And then uh, hopefully get to my hotel as soon as possible I'll probably get some food on the way back. Uh, tonight's free, so I need to figure out what to do tonight, um, but that is a later problem. Guys, I just remembered that the drinking age here in Quebec is 18, so technically I can buy any alcohol I want, I just can't bring it back, even though I'm turning 19 soon. But, got all this alcohol. I like the lights. Ah, thank you. Amazon. <laughs> Does it change color? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Look at this place. Look at this. So we've got our bed here. We got a nice TV here, the kitchen. Look at all this. This is your fridge, a stove. There should be a microwave up here. I'm pretty sure there's also a balcony. Let's see how that works. Wow, look at this. This is like a huge balcony. This is so nice. Uh, let's go take a look at the washroom. This is the washroom. Wow, look at this. The shower. Very nice, very nice. This is the sink. Wow, everything's really, really clean. Everything's all furnished. And it's like this very open concept type uh, of like an apartment style. So, wow, that's very nice. This is so embarrassing, but as I was about to put on uh, my phone onto a tripod, the clamp, like, like my finger got caught in it, so now it's all bloody, so... Uh, I was gonna say I'm gonna get settled in, I don't want to be walking around in my outside shoes, and then once I settle in, I think I'm gonna go get some food, or maybe go out and walk around the streets for a bit, uh, but I'll keep you guys updated. I think I'm gonna head out now. Um, I think the plan is I need to stop by shoppers. I need to get some like conditioner and body wash and also some band-aids. Um, and then I'm gonna go stop by uh, their Eats and Center here just so I'm curious like what's the difference between Montreal's Eats and Center versus Toronto. So uh, hopefully I can do some shopping. And yeah, I think I'll come back and I'm gonna Uber eat some dinner and then I'll probably call it a night because I have to uh, wake up pretty early tomorrow. Now we're in actual Montreal Inter Center. It's kind of confusing because they have stores outside on the streets. But I guess this is their main mall. This looks more like the Inter Center I'm familiar with. So uh, I'm gonna walk around for a bit and see what we can find. Pretty it is. Uh, it's got, wow, look at this. What is that? That looks so cool. You don't see that in Toronto. Well, maybe you do, but wow, look at that. 
Um, I see a shoppers. So I'm going. I'm heading there now. But I just wanted to show how pretty it is right now. It's like slightly snowing and there's lights everywhere. It's really nice. Look at this place. It's like some art museum, I think. I have no clue, but it's really pretty. They got a bunch of these like art exhibition type pieces, I guess. But look over there, very nice building. And then over here. Like, look at this. Let's go through it. Usually, I don't do like, I don't come out by myself or do solo travels, but like today, um, I like force myself to, you know, come out alone rather than like coming with friends or, you know, family because I feel like it's a good experience and like I need to be able to you know, come out and explore on my own. Um, so I think I think it's been good so far, but uh, tomorrow, tomorrow hopefully, tomorrow will be even more of a challenge for me because you know I'm going to a hackathon completely alone in a new city. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I make friends and hopefully I get a team. But if not, that's okay. Oh, this is not good. My handle just ripped off, so now I can't even carry this back. I think I might just call an Uber. Or honestly, I'll just hold this jacket and I'll put the rest in the skull pack. Man, that's really annoying. It's okay. Guys, look at that really cool part of that building. I have no clue what it is, but I want to be there. I ordered some, uh, some burger. And then of course, since we're in Montreal, I had to get some poutine as well. I got Diet Pepsi, and then um, I'm in the process of setting up some uh, K-drama, and that's probably what I'll do for the rest of the day today. Um, I do have to crash a bit earlier tonight because I do have to wake up early tomorrow. Uh, I guess that's day one finish. Spent most of today uh, commuting and on a train, but hopefully tomorrow is better and eventful. Um, so this is the coat that I got from uh, um, Zara. It's very, very nice. Um, I would try it on, but um, I don't know, I'm just not in the mood. Uh, that is the end of day one. I'm gonna go shower later and then I'll sleep a bit earlier tonight. currently 7.56 and I just got ready and cleaned up and everything so um, I think I'll start heading out. It's about a 11 minute walk I believe so uh, that'll be fun. I'll probably stop on the way and get some water or maybe they'll probably have water uh, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, let's go! is that there's like a lot more snow here than in Toronto like just the past like two days I've been here it's been snowing every day like I haven't seen it stop snowing um, I don't know it's nice it's not too cold either like it's negative one but it honestly feels like five degrees or so four degrees and I don't know it's just always been snowing here <laughs> Guys, they literally didn't have any like plastic bottled water. They only have these like boxed water, I guess. I guess it's more eco-friendly. I also just wanted to point out like how much prettier McGill is than Waterloo. Like, I'm sorry, but like McGill in comparison to Waterloo 
This is not comparable. The place where I'm going, SSMU, it's literally on like a hill, like a mountain. Like, look at this place. tag and we have a bag with some stuff inside I'm guessing a t-shirt got a beanie inside too and then there's some breakfast upstairs and I go check in my coat it's currently about one o'clock in the morning uh, we started at 12 p.m. so it's been a little bit over 12 hours of straight coding it's a lot but uh, essentially what we are doing is we are building a chatbot that basically uses uh, Cohere's API it's one of our sponsors and then um, it's mostly just demonstrating uh, the use of the Cohere API. Um, so that's essentially what we're doing. I've mostly worked on front end. I don't have that much experience with back end. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna stay, to be honest. Um, I still need to check out tomorrow morning, and then judging period is tomorrow at 12, I believe, but we have to submit something by 9 a.m. It's all fun, it's been a good experience been able to learn a lot so that's all good um but yeah i guess i'll keep you guys updated tomorrow i do have a plane to catch at six so i do have to leave a bit earlier uh, so i won't be able to attend the closing ceremony tomorrow um but yeah other than that it's been good my girl's been fine it's been really pretty um that's about it so i just got back from I forgot one of the uh, McGill buildings. Um, it is currently four o'clock, so it's really late. Um, I'm gonna shower and hopefully get some sleep. Um, I'm gonna. I have some leftover protein, so I'm gonna go eat that and then head to bed and hopefully get at least a couple of hours of sleep. Just a quick update, it is currently 9.20, so that is about T minus two and a half hours before judging starts. Now all I have to do is finish up some last minute styling and also some air handling, and then we should be good to go, I believe. I believe the back end is mostly finished. I think there is one issue that uh, one of my teammates is figuring out right now. Um, I have to check out by 11.30. The judging's at 12, so let's see if, if I can uh, finish everything on time. I also have to pack too. So I don't know but uh, the CSS is looking good on my part. So that is a good thing. And yeah, let's do it. I just left uh, SSNU. Uh, we presented and it went pretty well. Um, the co-founder of Code here liked my UI, so that was good. But now I'm waiting for my taxi so I can head to the airport. It is absolutely freezing cold and there's so much snow here. I hate it. Montreal is pretty... I'll come back. That's so come back. I wish I had more time here, but... Right now my hands are freezing and I need to find my taxi cab, so... Wish me luck. Mm -hmm. 